It's a who, not a who. But an affair. But an affair. So good to see you. It's a beautiful day. It's the time of the full moon. So you know some of what we're going to be getting into today. Looking forward to being with you. We'll get started with our adumbration in just a moment. And hopefully you've been able to get out under the full moon these last few nights. It's been raining here, so it's been difficult to get out under that full moon. And again, remember, with each stellar event or lunar, solar, stellar event that we work, cosmic events that we work with, rarely is it just one day. So people talk about the full moon and neglect the fact that it's about four days, okay? So you still have some time to dance underneath the full moon. We're in that full moon cycle. We'll get a chance to move around together, getting our full moon on. So that will be the main thing that we do today as we get it in. So we're gonna get started our adumbration. First thing we're gonna do, of course, is an abbreviated all over body check in. We'll do some massage stance. We'll do some Qigong. We'll do the lunar cycle. We'll do the short form. We'll do a breathing exercise. And we're going to spend some time at the start of the short form today going over the martial application. And as usual, make sure that you're keeping up with your. Simple kneeling. We're going to get that homework in. Make sure you're still doing your homework. Keep up with your homework. Want to strengthen the body. Next week, we will introduce the temple style small form that we do. It's a flow. And so we're working to get the proper environment in order to demonstrate that what we may do is actually just set it up in multiple angles for you to, to view and then we'll break it down different sections in class. That may be the best way to do it because uh, this environment right now is suited more for Tai Chi Chuan than it is for a small yoga. So in terms of instruction online. So we'll get that worked out and then uh, you know, we'll get it moving. Enough talk, let's move. Let's get in that siyasha. For well, the master that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher, student, student, teacher. Get our feet together. And hands up. Shift the weight. Start with the left foot. We'll draw a circle with the toes, one direction and the other direction. Set the foot down on the heel, toes up, wiggle the toes. One toe at a time, start with the big toe. Work your way down all the way to the pinky toe. Then we shift the weight. All right. Go the other direction. Sit down on the heel. Look at the toes. One toe at a time, starting with the big toe. Work your way down to the pinky toe. Drop the hands. All right, we start with the shoulder. Take it to the front. Other shoulder. And to the front. All right, and we get that first hand in, remember. And it's like so. We work the wrist. And doing it in this way, we get the whole arm engaged. 
change of direction. Move the fingers. And then one at a time. Switch hands. And then we change direction. Move the fingers one at a time. All right. Now I work the head left to right. Looking over the left shoulder, take the chin down and up. And over the right shoulder. We go up and down. All right. Front and center. Down and up. Take the head around in a circle. And then the other direction. Go ahead around the front and center. All right, let's shake it out. Now that we've gone both directions with the head. Take it out, feet parallel, shoulders width. Ah, let's get that in. We want to make sure we get that in with the feet. We want to make sure that folks are able to see the feet today as we get into the form. All right, we're going to start in the cop position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward, two breaths. Shift the weight, pivot. Step into the duo position, four breaths. Stepping back, pivot, bring the hands down into the gathering.
And we're going to go right into swinging arms. There we go. I'm sorry. All right. Opening the chest, stretching the back. Last one. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Okay. Now today, like I said, we're gonna be focusing on the very beginning of the form and the footwork connected to the beginning of the form. So we're gonna start from Wuxi position. I wanna be here. Okay, so while we're here, we're gonna to work to get our feet into straight and parallel. Both ready, here we go. So what you do is you're gonna sink and take your weight to the left. You're gonna come up on those right toes you're gonna step, see the step here? I'm gonna shift the weight, pivot to the front. And now the feet are straight and parallel. Okay, and then we get back to Wu Chi. So that's how we start the form from Wu Chi position. Understand? We're gonna shift the weight, step. And that step is like a low side kick for a variety of reasons. And when you're in close with someone, you could be here in Uchi. All you want to be able to do is to step behind, shift the weight, pivot. That will disable someone and take them to the ground. No, it doesn't sound like it right now. But the footwork for Tai Chi, again, let's come on back into Uchi. The other thing I want you to notice is see this left shoulder here. So as we shift, you see it come off, off the line. We shift, come here, see it's way off the line. And now we're straight and parallel with the feet. And we are a full six to eight inches off the starting line, which was over here, see? So we're moving our center by doing that. And the main reason that we do that is it doesn't require a lot of movement. It's, it's linear movement coming towards us. So it's just a quick, very quick. It affords us to be ready and to get from Wu Chi to the ready position, the starting position very quickly. Okay, all right, so we're here. 
We bow in just as a matter of habit. All right. Step, pivot, sinking down, sun rises. And then we're going to stop right here. We're going to pivot, come back into Uchi. Okay. Now we're going to take this all the way to through the lunar cycle today. We're going to start here. We're going to go through the lunar cycle. All right, hold on. All right. So from here, we're going to do the lunar cycle. All right, so we get it in. So you'll see the shift, the step, light into sunrises. Let me shake it out. All right. So now we're going to go from beginning to end. And we're going to end in Wu Chi. So at the end, we're going to come back into Wu Chi right from feet parallel, shoulders width. Okay. So here we go. Give it straight and parallel. All right, so shake it out. Come to it again. Just as a final review. Sticking down, shift the weight on the toes. Step, heel first, so that way it comes down with power. Shift, pivot, straight and parallel. And then we begin the form. Hugely important. I look forward to seeing y'all get it in later. All right. Let's have a seat. We'll get our breathing exercise in. All right. There we go. I want you to sit tall. Good. Take that right index finger and thumb. Palm up, left hand like so, left thumb blocking off the left nostril, middle and index finger in the center forehead. Breathing in, 
How? In. Out. In. Out. Five breath. Deep breath in. Release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. And release. Both hands, palms up, resting, thumb and index finger touching, breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Chin down. And release. Excellent. Again, the beautiful, fun part about today is today is the Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May. It is a very auspicious day, particularly for those of us that do work in liberation and solidarity, as it has a direct impact on the Black American community's freedom and the sovereignty of Mexico based on the battle at Puebla and the victory of the Mexican army over the French. I would suggest that if you take the opportunity, you actually research that and you'll have a deeper understanding of uh, solidarity, of uh, liberation, and the way in which our liberation is intertwined and how we must work together to be free. And that's why we take this time and we share our breaths and we move together so that we can experience that freedom, that liberty, and work so that all may have the ability to do so as well. And we'll start with the essence of Tai Chi Chuan, the literary tradition. Ah, this is right from the beginning of the loom. Here we go. This is from actually the end. This is the song of the 13 postures. Ah, wrong again. The Tai Chi Chuan Cheng by Shang San Feng. So we get ward off, roll back, push, press, pull, split, elbow, shoulder are known as the eight trigrams. Step forward, step backward, look left, look right, and central equilibrium are the five elements and so looking at it like that so then what we have are ward off roll back and then you get some of the others are the four cardinal directions so forward backward left right central equilibriums then are the five elements which would be metal wood water fire and earth and so together these comprise the 13 postures, eight and five. And from the 13, we get the 108, okay?
<sighs> Teachings of Patata. If you are poor, then serve a person of worth so that your conduct may be well with God. Do not bring up the fact that they were once poor, the one you work for. Do not be arrogant towards them just because you know about their former state. Respect them now for their position of authority. As for fortune, it obeys its own law, and that is her will. It is God's gift. It is God who makes them worthy and who protects them while they sleep, or who can turn away from them. The Tao Te Ching. Universal application. The softest things in the world can match and overcome the hardest. Non-being penetrates even the crackless. Thus the value of non-interference is clear to me. The teaching without words and the virtue of non-interference can hardly be matched in the world. All right, there we go. That does it for us today. Thank you for your participation, for your attendance, your presence, the gift that manifests. Grateful. Make sure you get your homework. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Grateful that you're here. Check us out. We respond to our social media, usually within a day. So check us out. We're moving into the summer. We'll begin having our fast. So pay attention. We have a wonderful newsletter that just came out. You get a chance. Check it out. We're going to be experiencing some growth in the next few months. So hopefully you'll be here to grow with us as we work to move with nature. So you should see some aspect of our flowers and our fruit. So we bow out and we say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow, teacher to student, student to teacher, Ashe. Bearing witness to the ancestors, paying homage to the eternal witness of earth and sky, I bid you, Hatep. Peru Nefer.